Today we are going to learn how to install mods on OS X Lion or OS X Mountain Lion for Mac. So you PC guys, sorry, but this isn't for you. It's pretty simple to do on PC though. Okay, so here we go. Um, first of all, I'm just this is the mod I'm going to be installing too many items, uh, which is 1.3.2, and that's just kind of how I named it. That's not how it comes named. But I'll have a link in the description for that. And uh, just ignore this Minecraft.jar, just totally ignore that. That's mine. Like that I have a bunch of other mods installed on. Yeah, installed on. Okay, so let's just get started. Okay, first of all, uh, if you're on a Mac, first of all, you're going to need to get, uh, learn how to go to your library. And I have it um, right here, just like I have a shortcut to it right here. But uh, if, you're, if you don't, like if you haven't installed mods or anything, it's going to be up here. Go to go, and then hit option, then go to library. You can see, look, not there, there, it appears. So I'm going to go there. And then go to application support. If you know, here's here's your library. Here's all your stuff. Second one, application support. Then you are gonna want to go to Minecraft, which is right here. It's just this is mine, but it should just be called Minecraft somewhere there. And it's organized alphabetically. And um, as you can see here is this, which is actually the same folder as I have here. So I just have it there. Okay, so this is the heart of Minecraft right here. Like the your little application thing. This is just like the launcher for it. This is actually like the whole heart of Minecraft. This is how you install mods and all that, and see, so, you know, texture packs, and then, uh, you know, your saves, and stuff like that. So, there's all that, and, um, yeah, it should just be, it should just come without too many items and all this stuff before, but that's just kind of there. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to go into your bin folder, which stands for binary, which is two, in case you don't know the tech, and then um, you're going to need all this. The only one you're really going to want to pay attention to is this one, minecraft.jar. And what you're going to want to do is for OS X Lion and Mountain Lion, you're going to want to choose the Unarchiver. And that should be available in the App Store. It's totally free. Just download it, then it will uh, it will show up here when you go to open with. But uh, if you're running uh, Snow Leopard or lower, it's going to be Archive Utility, which is also free, I believe. And that's why it's built 10.8 for uh, yeah Snow Leopard. Okay, so we're just going to hit uh, open with the Unarchiver. And then it's going to extract all that. And I have in my settings for it to just go straight to my desktop in a folder, but um, like in my unarchiver settings. But I'm, but uh, if it's just it's your first time installing it, it should be. I'm actually not sure where it saves, but you can just go up to here and then type in. It should just be called Minecraft, and it's a little folder. As long as you don't have another folder in your uh, computer named Minecraft. And so uh, yeah, it's there. Then what you're gonna do is you want to drag this into your bin folder. So just put it anywhere; it doesn't really matter. And I like to just play it up because I'm pretty OCD. Then you're going to drag this, and if you want to, you can just save it just in case you mess up. So just drag it to your desktop. And uh, here, just keep both. There you go. So there's that. Just keep that there, and it says copy because I already have this one here. But um, yes, yeah, so then here, just drag that up there, and then clean up. And then what you're going to want to do is just click this. And I find the easiest way to do it is just have it highlighted, then click it once, and then you're going to rename it. Whoa. Okay, rename it Minecraft.jar. There you go, and you're going to click uh, Add Extension. Then another way to do this is hit uh, Get Info, which should be right there. And then you're going to want to go to Name and Extension, and then you can add the .jar thing. It works either way. And hit Close that. And then now that it's a folder, you can do this. Oh, and hold on just a sec. The .jar thing is just so that like it recognizes it as the main sort of thing that Minecraft grabs information from. So that way, like, and it's you. It's you want you want archive it so you can actually access it because otherwise you can't access this because unless you have a you know launcher for jar files and uh, yeah so you go into this folder and then you're gonna need all of these number things which are really really confusing and hurt your brain the first time okay so then uh, this is where too many items comes in this you're gonna open too many items up and you can just hit command A and then I like to just copy them in case I mess up so that way I know what the what I need to uh, delete if I mess up but um, I'm just gonna hit copy 22 items. And then, or you can just drag them over, but it's easier if you just copy them all, and then just minimize that. And then you're just gonna, whoa, glitchy. Okay, then you are just gonna right click, paste. Ta da! Oh, and then you're gonna hit replace for all. Ta da! Okay, now clean up. Yay, okay. Now, that, now that's all done, you're gonna see these little files called TMI, all that, too many items. And, um, yeah, all that. So, now that that's done, you can close this. And, um, yeah, have all that there. You're not really going to need this anymore. And then you're going to open up Minecraft. And then you're going to hit login. 
and then ta-da, all this stuff comes up. Okay, so um, yeah, there's all this stuff, and yeah, here, let me show you too many items, let's just use this. Okay, okay, and too many items, and I access that by just pressing O, that's how you bring too many items up, and so there's all this, you got five pages of awesomeness, and um, yeah, so there's this stuff, and I have all that stuff also. But, um, yeah, and you can, you know, set the time to peaceful, all that. Too many items, it's really cool. So this pretty much is just the basis of how to use, or how to install mods. Uh, this is pretty much how it is for all mods, but, um, you know, some of them are quite different, so definitely check, like, on the website what it says to do before you just follow exactly what I did, because this only really works for too many items, and, you know, a handful of other mods, but other ones have just slight changes that you need to do before you download them. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And, uh, yeah, see you guys later.